Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome back to Forest River. As you can see, we are sitting here with the uh, combine in front of us at our oats field. We are in day three of July. Um, had to give this a little bit of time to dry down. You can see now our moisture is down to 10%. Uh, on July 1st, we were getting pretty close up to like 30% moisture. So we had to give it some dry down time. But we are finally ready to rock. So we are going to get going. Uh, we did make a bit of a plan or a deal, I should say, with uh, the neighbor, and he is going to let us use his tractor, baler, and uh, bale wagon, and uh, we'll just pay him after, pay him whenever we can. So let's get combine fired up, header fired up, and uh, let's get cutting. Wants us to fast forward some time, which is no big deal. We'll uh, fast forward ahead to, let's say, like noon. Let's also take a look here. We can adjust the settings for the um, combine experience here. I think it's all the way down here at the bottom. Combine experience. Uh, to turn that setting off. There, now we're doing a little better. I did get the auger set up as well, so that is on the bin, ready to go. So, all we gotta do is just uh, get things filled up. I'm glad that uh, things dried down a bit too, as fast as they did. Was uh, getting a little worried there at first. Definitely would not have been combining uh, right away in the first day of July there. That would have been bad. Hopefully we can get down to the end here before we fill up. We're pushing it. Definitely uh, pushing it.
Alright. Let's get ourselves unloaded here. Wanna dump into our first wagon. There we go. Perfect. So we'll get this unloaded and uh, go back for another pass. Boy, this is going to uh, definitely, one hopper load definitely fills quite a bit in that wagon. It's a good thing we've got two wagons and a truck. Now, if you do remember from uh, when we looked around when we first got here, we did have two trucks. Um, we're actually loaning out the second truck to a neighbor. Um for a little extra money so I'm hoping that um, his usage on it will pay for our usage on um, the bailing equipment that's kinda the goal of it anyways so we'll uh, see kind of how long he needs it and uh, things like that or maybe we might even just sell it to him um, he did mention that he would buy it if we were interested in selling it I don't know if we will or not just for the fact of uh, we may need it later in harvest, but at the same time, if we can sell it and get a little extra cash, that uh, wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. At least now if we fill up on a pass, uh, we are along, or we have the field opened up, so it's a little easier to uh, just pick up and go on load. We are definitely filling up really fast, so yield map is looking pretty good. No complaints there. Missing some. See if we have enough room to uh, make it back up to our truck or our wagons. I don't think that we're going to. <laughs> well, that's a good problem to have. Means that uh, we did good. So this is excellent to see. Alright, 
right, let's go over and uh, unload into our wagon here. So this is going to, I think, fill this wagon. Oh, too far back. It's trying to get centered a little more here. So, we'll see. It's going to get it pretty close if it doesn't fill it. a full wagon. Let's get backed up to our other one here. Well, if I can fill all three of these off of this field and uh, still have some left to combine, I would be a-okay with that. That would be a fine uh, problem to have. Okay, let's get flipped around here. We'll get back over where we were. Let's fire the combine back up. Turn the header back on. Drop her down, and away we go. Those little miss bits we'll pick up at the end. Not too worried about them right now. But uh, so far, so good. Combine's running great. Uh, nice, clean grain tank, so... We got her dialed in pretty well, it looks like. And, I mean, we're running fantastic yield. So, obviously I'm not listening to whatever that says. That thing is sky high way off. So... I don't ever really pay attention to that. And just like that, we are already half full. I don't think that we're gonna have fill a bin yields. Uh, with these oats, but we definitely will have a uh, fair amount of them. So that is a good thing. headlamp pass up here and uh, we got a little more room flipping around up here get a 
this a little closer to full. Alright, let's shut that header off. Hard to judge where you're at. Sometimes from in the cab view. But let's get this wagon filled up. As you can see in the background there, there's the auger set up on the bin there. We're clo getting close to done with this field. have to figure out uh, what exactly we want to put on it for next season. If we uh, want to put a winter crop on or if we want to leave it sit until spring. Okay, that wagon is full now. So, we just got our truck left to fill and then we can uh, go and unload it all of them I guess Looks like we might have some, uh, oh yeah, we've got a little bit of cloud cover coming in, so we, uh, oh, that's why I also <laughs> forgot the time scale set up. So that's my bad. That's all right, though. We'll get this field done today. And uh, tomorrow we'll get our other field done. And then it'll probably be uh, late October, early November before we're back combining. Uh, before our beans and corn are ready to cut and are dried down enough. And then uh, once we finish harvest, then we can get this straw baled up and uh, get those bales sold. Get a little bit of money in the bank account. Because we are starting to get down there, that's for sure. to run up and empty here and then it looks like we only got a couple passes left and we'll have this field knocked out
One thing about this combine is uh, there's really no lights. So we are going to have to move ahead a day after this field, which is okay. Nothing wrong with that. It is nice to see that uh, the combine does have plenty of animation on it. It's always a nice thing. So hopefully we have enough room <laughs> to fit what's left of our crop in our truck here. Which if we don't, that's okay because we're moving on to another field of the same crop. So, okay, I'll fire the header back up and let's uh, get these last couple passes done here. is a perfectly full header with All right, let's get up here and uh, get this last pass of this field here done dump this in the truck and uh, we can uh, after that we'll go ahead and we'll unload all three of these right away and then uh, we're gonna figure out just what we did on this field oops Apparently the header didn't shut off fully. Oh, so we're dumping some on the cab there. But yeah, and then we can figure out, we'll see how many bushels we have off of this field. And uh, since we have our field sizes figured out, we can see what it uh, ran, even though I know it's not going to be anything realistic, but that's all right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run this across the road here and uh, get it moved so it's ready. set up to combine this field tomorrow. Perfect. Alright, let's run over here. Jump in this guy. And uh, let's go get him unloaded. Some lights turned on. Okay, let's. 
let's start this tractor up. quite going to be correct, but it'll be close enough. Make sure that we're going in. And we are. So then we can bring up here in our oats. And then if we go and we pull up, let's go to this. Field info. All right, cool. So we are on field, I believe, 28, or is it 40 that we just did? Let's take a look here. I gotta look again. I don't remember our field numbers quite yet. 40. Okay. So, oat. Um, so we'll put oats, we'll get this finished on loading, sweet, okay, let's get this moved, and then we'll get our next wagon dumped and then our truck and then we can figure out just what we got Right, there's that one unloaded. We'll get the 4850 unloaded. Should have probably taken the duels off of the two tractors, but this thing has a very small and fine tipping point, that is for sure. But with it being as dry as it is, that'll really help us when it comes time to sell. Um, we will be able to make maximum profit off of it, so which is good. Well, that's unloading. Let's take a look here. Oats. So the best time to sell them is January. That's when they are going to be the highest. Um, soybeans, those are June, so right now would be the time to be selling them. Uh, and then our corn is also in January, so we'll be able to haul out some grain um, in January, which will help us. And then uh, our last bit of it we can haul out in June. Get it hauled out right before harvest. So that's excellent. All 
Alright. Wagon number two. And let's get our truck dumped. Then we can uh, do some figuring. Let's get this guy dumped in. Hopefully it'll play nice with the trigger and not uh, unload some and then want to drop the box back down. Yep, that's what I figured. So I'll let it drop itself down and then we'll kick it back on. Or kick it back up, I should say. Should be able to unload all of it before it uh, hits that point again. Move back up a bit, I don't know. Perfect. So, we have 1125.2. 1125.2. So, we need to take that. We got 1125.2 divided by 3.5, which gives us 321.4. 321.4 bushels an acre. Like I said, I knew it was going to be an insane amount, but, uh, yeah, that's crazy. But anyways, that's, uh, that's going to do it for today. I am going to fast forward to the next day, um, so that way we can, uh, get back into some daylight, and, uh, and then we'll finish up our oats harvest, and, uh, have that done and good to go. So thanks for tuning in today, folks, and we'll see you all in the next one.